Hi, my name is Raul Sorto, and today I will talk about uh, nature or the relationship that uh, nowadays have uh, humans and, and his environment with the nation. Okay, first of all, I want to say that I have uh, seen some some facts in internet, some scientific facts that says that. A person that is in more contact with nature have less stress, have have less disease, is more healthy in comparison with the with the person that live in the city. This this because uh, apart of the less stress, uh, people in the farm are more healthy because uh, they are in more contact with microorganisms every day, and this make them uh, more resistant to to certain type of virus or, or stuff like that. Another thing is that, uh, as you may know, being outdoor uh, made you made you move, made you make air exercise, and they reduce obesity in the population. So, uh, and apart this, uh, being in contact with nature can can influence in the improvement of uh, facts of characteristic uh, like creativity concentration and curiosity and the feeling of freedom is a is something essential that improve uh, being in contact with with nature so in my personal experience i i can say that this is true i prefer a uh, rural uh, living rural, I mean, I prefer the, the fields. Uh, so, uh, in my personal opinion, I can say I have lived in, I have, I have lived in the city for almost all my life, but I have never lost my connection with nature. I have been uh, with a constant connection without uh, forgetting the important, the important that have uh, my my roots, my my environment, uh, without forgetting my the environment, uh, I have uh, I can say that being in contact with this reduces stress. It really helps uh, and create a moral a a a moral thinking, critical thinking about what is what how important is environment so I want to say that with the problem of we nowadays we have a critical problem with climate change and uh, people is in constant looking for a solution for climate change and this is can be one type of solution um, make people appreciate the environment I mean uh, I am here and the question here says uh, what we can do to promote the connection with human nature and is is this invite people to the to to trips in fields or mountains or stay invite people to stay one night in in a in the river in the or stuff like that this will in uh, this this experience is unique and person and persons that have never lived this before we appreciate and a lot i mean you can say to a person that yes being in contact with nature can bring this and this benefit but nothing like uh, like have the 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 of the experience by their own is a unique experience and this will make them a conscience about what is the importance of environment and the importance of that their child that their children uh, have have uh, have a, a contact with the environment and this is the other point make children be in contact being in a constant contact in with the environment can improve their quality their their 
their education in the sense that, as I say before, uh, nature improve what is creativity, what is concentration, what is curiosity in people, and this day we need this this characteristic in person. Uh, at the same time, it improves the feeling of freedom. So the feeling of freedom that we that you sense in the nature you, uh, is very important for a person that can be a future a future leader to to the world. So, uh, and as, as a video says, uh, as a video that I see says, uh, we, in this day, we need more, not only professional, we need more critical thinking. And being in contact with the nature can improve a lot in this critical, critical thinking. And, and not only this, I mean, uh, apart that being in contact with nature improves this characteristic, it reduces stress. I mean, if you are a study, uh, as us as a student, or, or maybe not us because we as a, as because we are in a in a agronomy and university, uh, we are in constant in a constant uh, connection with nature. But imagine people like uh, in the University of Tegucigalpa or or in the University of a big city of the world like Tokyo, I don't know. Uh, in these cities, they have almost zero connection with nature. And this affects the improvement of their students, of the universities of this city. And you have to believe me, or maybe you already know that what I am saying is true, that have a plant in, a, in your room is a lot uh, it's helped a lot. It's being in contact with a living thing, it helped a lot. Uh, it's, I have a lot of plants in my room because that uh, is really helps. And a person and any student that want to improve their quality their, in, the, in the class to reduce stress, this is a method, a method that really helps. So, can urbanism be a stop? is another question okay i'm not a person that is against urbanism i mean urbanism is is a uh, urbanism for me cannot stop people every year by year is is translating uh, is tra uh, is looking for the cities to the big cities uh, in 10 years we're gonna have and bueno, nowadays we have a lot of, of cities, more than 10 million people, so we can see that people look for the city. And I'm not against that. The problem is that when people uh, forget about nature, they, have, they can live in the city but without forgetting their past, without forgetting their road, uh, they have to, it's important to not, to not stop their, their contact with the nature and to not stop and to and to try that their children uh, being in constant contact with nature not only uh, more of the children uh, nowadays prefer to be in a room playing video games or being in a computer and that is bad I mean all in, that in excess is bad and fathers uh, have to have to try the this to have to try to reduce this and to make their children uh, have a new experience in the in outdoor experience that they will never have in a closed room. Okay, maybe I think that that is all. Thank you for watching.